Hi everyone, welcome to the VSL School of Music Sinfonietta YouTube channel. My name is Ira Kim and today we are going to learn about the marimba. The marimba belongs to the percussion family and more specifically the xylophone family. These instruments, the marimba and the xylophone as shown here, belongs to the xylophone family which means that the tone bars, these rectangular bars, are made out of wood. Two other instruments, the vibraphone and the glockenspiel, belong to the metallophone family, which means that the rectangular bars are made out of metal instead of wood. The marimba has the widest range of any percussion pitched instrument. Looking at their appearance, it may be difficult to differentiate between the marimba and the xylophone. The main difference is the range and the tone of the instruments. The marimba has a wider range and has a warmer tone than the xylophone, whereas the xylophone has a smaller range and the sound is very hard, distinct, and direct. The marimba has many parts such as the bars, resonators, frame, rail, gas spring, reinforcement stay, and slant shaft. A better diagram of the marimba is shown here. The range of the marimba varies. The most common are 4.3, 4.5, and 5 octave marimbas. The marimba in front of me here is a 5 octave marimba. Some pieces are specifically designed for 5 octave playing. You may require a 5 octave marimba for you to be able to play all the notes. How does the instrument make sound? Since the marimba is a percussion instrument, you hit the bars to create sound. These things called mallets are what are used to hit the bars, like this. In lower registers, you may use another mallet, which is softer. Marimba is used in various cases like solo performances, orchestras, concert bands, and jazz bands. The origin of the marimba is uncertain. Some say it originated in Southeast Asia in the 14th century, and some say that it originated in Africa. The marimba was brought to South America and was named marimba in the 16th century. You can either play marimba with two mallets or four mallets. Two mallets like this. And four mallets like this. The marimba can make many different sounds. For example, it can make low notes, and also it can make high notes. You can also do something called a roll on a marimba, which, which can be done in both two mallet and four mallet playing. I'll show you how a roll is done when you play with four mallets. It's when you alternate between two hands and play repeatedly and it will make a roll. You can also do glissandos on a marimba. It sounds like this. You can also play on the wood part of the marimba. You play on the wooden part of the bars with the shaft of the mallet, like this. There is also a type of stroke called a dead stroke. This is when you leave the mallet on the bars to mute the sound. It sounds like this. The marimba may sound new to you, but most of you have probably heard of it before. Do you recognize this? The marimba is actually in many films and movies, but most people don't recognize it as a marimba. The marimba can play with very different kinds of moods. For example, this piece is very nostalgic.
The marimba can also sound very sad sometimes. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had fun. Make sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube Symphonietta channel and come back every Tuesday for a new video. Thank you. Bye.